All right, video check. Looks like everything's running okay. Hello, Internet. Uh, this is Seraph bringing you a Let's Play of Rome Total War. I'm super excited for Rome 2 to come out in two weeks. So I'm going to run a short campaign as the Greeks. This is going to be in Darth Mod 9.0 um, rather than vanilla. And I'll just scroll this in case people want to read it some. So we are going to play the United Greek City States in we're gonna call it the Spartan League. And take the fight to Rome. Now, I'm really kind of excited because ever since I installed Darth Maul, these cinematics have been haven't been playing right. There was nothing left to conquer. The world was his. I love this intro, though. But Alexander is dead. His empire is gone. And so we live in evil days. Evil days. The three men of Greece have turned on each other instead of their proper enemies. Those who envy all the Greeks have done. Alexander must weep. If, if the dead weep. I will weep in his place. But I would also hope the world turns. What was may come again. The fate still spin the web of men's lives. So now, perhaps the gods wish Greeks to be great again. Perhaps a new Alexander will take up the soul. Bring order where there is chaos. Remake the world of men to a better plan. Alright, so there you have it. I hope I'm going to go ahead and alt-tab, check on the screen stream real quick, make sure it's all doing okay. Once we load in, Darth Mod, again this is, as you can see, Darth Mod 9.0.1. Um, I haven't got a whole lot to say right now. Because um, I haven't played the Greeks in Darth Mod yet. Um, it's been a while. Alright, so here we are. Um, fantastically compact. Oh, I don't think they started with Corinth before. I think that was Rebel. Either Corinth or Athens was definitely Rebel before. Yeah, Antigonus of Sparta. Antigonus. We are the Greek cities. We're allied with Macedon and Carthage, and we're f enemies with the Romans. Um, that could be inconvenient if we want to hold on to Syracuse. So it looks like there's a Greek army chilling right there. We may want to try and get peace with them or sell them Syracuse. Um, and just refocus our efforts on Asia Minor. And, of course, Greece, maybe up as far north as the Danube here. Uh, let me check on the stream, make sure everything is beautiful. Uh, looks like it's okay. Cool. So I'll just go ahead and see what we've got. We'll start at our capital, which is Sparta. Our men are our walls. Ooh, they redid the model for the Spartan hoplites. Now that looks badass. Beyond elite. Fantastic. Alright, maybe we should get some walls built here. Okay. Um, move on to the next city. We're going to focus on trade to start. Um, ooh, what kind of shrines can I build? Athena, happiness and law. That's good. It'll make it easier to rule. Aphrodite, I don't really need help with population growth. Hermes, ooh, money. Nike. I should... I feel like this, that can't be all it does. It's probably just, it's gotta, I wish I remembered this game better. It's gotta get some, like, an experience bonus or something at higher levels. So, money and experience. Uh, and Sparta will definitely put that shrine to Nike, if they haven't got one already. Oh, they already have one. Yeah, there it is. Plus, oh, and that's what I can do. I can look in the building browser 
see what they do later on. So, it's happiness, more tradable goods, more tradable goods. Experience bonus goes as high as three. Oh, that gives you a uh, gold shield guards. Oh, it's, okay, so it kind of gives a, a crossover, because it's a, a pantheon. So, it gives that um, happiness, this is Aphrodite, or Hermes. So experience bonus, it's got the maximum tradable goods increase. Law here, experience bonus. Um, Athena gives population growth later on. So what can we build here in, I think this is where we were, Corinth? What can we recruit? Militia, Hoplites, so nothing of value. Agamemnon of Sparta, who is not our faction lead. So I guess let's go ahead and get some, get the economy rolling. Build a port. Just keep going. Athens could use roads. How does Athens not have roads? That's kind of embarrassing, isn't it? Um, okay, I'm going to need to upgrade Kydonia on Crete. Sounds good to me. Whoa, whoa. Okay, Pergamon. No, I don't need to recruit. I'll handle recruitment afterwards. Get some roads built. Uh, Rhodos doesn't terribly much need roads, but it has a dock. Um, what can I recruit here? I already recruit uh, hoplites and traditional hoplites, which I guess uh, regular hoplites are more defensive. They're better armored. Well, I mean they're I mean they're hoplites, right? They fight in phalanx. They don't exactly need a lot extra defense. So we want to stab things. Oh, they have heavy weapons too, instead of light. Traditional shorter and heavier spears. Well, it says heavier, but they have a light weapon. That's odd. I wonder if there's some sort of armor or piercing effect or something. Form foul lines, but also nice some real good stamina. Hold on. Uh, traditional hoplites have good stamina, so they want tires easily. So we'll just probably go with those. Back to construction. Roads, I can't see doing a lot else, so we'll definitely go with the Hermes Temple here. I'm not going to recruit a lot of troops from Rhodes. Same with um, from Crete and uh, Kydonia. The question is, do I want to go ahead and make a, a land grab here in Asia Minor? Pick up the Temple of Artemis and the Mausoleum. So, well, that's not too useful early, but shaving a turn off construction later wouldn't be too bad. Ooh, cheap temples. Is there another, is there another city up here? Or is it somewhere over this way? Well, I wish I knew this off the top of my head. Oh, we have a diplomat. Well, diplomat, let's start exploring. Oh, there it is, Sardis right here. So if we want to make war on the Seleucids, I think we're going to want to trade with Pontus for sure. If it's even remotely possible, we want to trade with Pontus. Um, oh! I'm forgetting. Sicilia Poeni. I guess it's. Sicrecos, Romanos. Oh, okay. Phoenician Sicily, Greek Sicily, and Roman Sicily. Not bad. So, this is the Carthaginian area. We don't want to. I wonder if we can purchase a ceasefire. Nope, okay, well, I tried. It's worth a shot at least. So we have Peltists. Well, they're not. Their model is armored, but they have none. Archers with their cool floppy hats. Hoplites, which are fantastic. And Dionysus of Sparta is my heir. 
he has an inventor. I guess this would be Archimedes. Or is it Archimedes? Syracuse? No. My history is just not that great, huh? So, let's see, you've got some construction to do. I have a feeling we're going to be recruiting a lot of stuff here, so we're going to want to pump this up as fast as we can. And let's pull out some... So, I have four units of hoplites. Let's build a couple of units of traditional hoplite. Well, we just do not have anything, anything as far as cash goes, do we? So we'll probably break alliance with Macedon. Make them our first target, or do we want to just put the, send the Romans to an early grave? Do I have oh, I have Cilician pirates. They're expensive. Let's um are these mer these are mercenaries. So Crete is pretty much entirely staffed by mercenaries. Let's um Go ahead and just disband these guys. That's too much money. They're really good units, especially I've used the Cilician Pirates. I recruited an actual Cilicia, which is slowly scrolling this region here, I believe. Um, or at least this coastline here is Cilicia. Obviously that's Cyprus, and owned by the Egyptians. Um, they've got fairly large number of troops there. It's odd that um, militia. I don't want to. I don't want to deal with militia hoplites. I've got a port under construction. What's there? Yeah, 180. They're much much cheaper. Oh, these guys are slightly cheaper as well. Uh, these guys are cooler looking, we'll go with the cooler looking guys for now. With the higher defense. So let's um go ahead and sweep. Uh, let's stick this army in Athens for now. Cleomenes, oh Sparta, there's my faction leader right here. Oh my goodness gracious, Spartan hoplites are expensive. And well deserved. I won't bother retraining the garrison. Send these hoplites on ahead. Antigonus, uh, he's a good, uh, he's a good general. So we'll pull up hoplites to Athens. And we'll just, well, we'll leave that up. Now, you know what, instead of the port, let's do... Our primary troop recruitment is going to be Sparta, Corinth, and Athens. So we'll, we'll do Nike in all three of these. Yeah. And then we'll probably just go Hermes everywhere else. I guess we'll go Nike probably over here. Are we already building this? This shrine to Nike? But it doesn't, I don't get any, it doesn't get any bonuses until, what's well, a minor city, so I can, I can do it next turn. It'll take me a couple turns to get the experience bonus, but, and that'll be basically everything I use to fight the, the Romans. So we'll have primary troop recruitment right here, Sparta, Corinth, and Athens. And right now they can't, can't do much, well... Pick up some militia hoplites if I remember right. Oh, they actually have the same. They're cheaper to recruit. They have the same upkeep as regular hoplites, huh? They, I mean, they supposedly have good morale, but they're cheaper to recruit, and I can recruit them here. So we'll just recruit the cheap guys to hold down. I don't need to build any more regular ones. I can just recruit militia for garrisons. Move my most experienced over to Athens. Move this guy to Athens. 